Then I found this felt. It's really pretty. I love scalloped and um, it's just a fun little trim that I'm going to put right up here. If you didn't find this anywhere, uh, you can always use a scissors like this with some paper or you can use some felt pieces of paper. I think they come in eight and a half by eleven. You can use that as well and trim it to have this look. So with this, I just want to have it up here at the top. It's a little bit bigger than what I want, so I'm just going to trim off a little bit. And then make sure it's about the right size and take some glue dots and just put them on the back. You don't have to use too many of them. And we're going to lay this right here on the top like that. The last embellishment that I put on the acrylic itself is this nice little piece of paper from Webster's Pages. I just really liked the circle and the ornaments hanging and I just simply cut it out. And then I like to highlight things and give it more glitter since we have kind of a theme here of glitter. So you're going to take your pen and not all of this is going to show so you'll just do the bottom part and just kind of follow along with the lines. And then I followed along with the ornaments, highlighting the areas that I wanted to highlight. So when you're done with that, you'll go ahead and put some adhesive on this as well. And I wanted the ornaments to hang below the scallops. So you're just going to put it right about there. Now this part you won't see of where it says Christmas because I've covered it with some flowers. If you like this, then just put your flowers up a little bit higher and then you'll be able to see that as well and maybe even write something on there. Okay, and I also added this paper behind the acrylic. It's just a little strip for more embellishment and it goes right behind there. Now I'm going to show you how to put the pinwheel that it's, now that it's dried onto the acrylic. And I cheated a little bit on this one and stapled it. So I really don't want the staple to show. So I'm actually going to make sure that that staple is going to be hidden underneath the postcard. So there's different glues that you can use for this. I have used the tacky glue and put that on. I've also used the, this foam or pop dots. So any of them will work. Today I'm going to use the tacky glue and just attach that right there. And then I'm going to take my postcard and I have to make sure that this postcard is up to the level of this pinwheel. You don't want it to be uneven and have this lower and this higher. So as you can see, I've pop dotted three sides of this postcard to get it up to the level of this pinwheel. But on this side, you're going to only use maybe a glue runner or a very thin glue dot because you don't want this to be up higher. So after that, you'll just peel these off like this. Put just a little bit of tape on this part right here. And you're going to line this up how you want it, glue it, and then put this right here underneath the felt and next to this border, just like that. Now I've used this postcard because I love the Eiffel Tower and I love Paris and it was inspiring to me because of our trip. But you can certainly use many different things, especially if you're going to give this away as a gift. I would say a photo of that person, um, an old Christmas card maybe from that person or just recycling and using a, a pretty Christmas card right here would be pretty as well. Okay, now we're going to finish this up with all the fun little embellishments and flowers. And what I have here is a lot of Prima because we all love Prima. Um, I have one of their roses and I'm just going to place it over here. Again, if you don't want to cover up this little journaling part, you can just put it up higher. But I actually set it down over it. And then I've built it, that whole area up with just some leaves, this cameo, and these berries. This is a vintage button that I have, but if you have something that you would like as a little memento or something else, you're, you can put that there. So let's just start putting some leaves on just behind the flower. And then these berries, 
I actually just took a little wire cutter and cut so you want to hide this part that it has the white of the foam. It comes from one of the craft stores like Michaels or Joann's and it comes in a big sprig like this so you're just going to trim some of these pieces off. I think it's probably in the wreath section of the stores and it's it's in just about every store right now for the holidays. And I'm just going to take some glue and put those in there and maybe one down here. Now I took some cray paper. This one it already came ruffled but you can get this at any store and ruffle it yourself. I kind of created another mini pinwheel and I just wanted to kind of gather that up right here and attach that. I don't have much glue on it right now but you get the idea. And then I took this vintage button. I have some other ones right here that you can just place inside like that and make it pretty like that. Then I have from Webster's Pages a little cameo. I just love these. They were in my kit for November and I'm going to just place that right in there like that with some adhesive. What else did we do? We have a little tag right here. Again, Paris, you might want to put something else you have that's special to you, but you're just going to place the tag right there. You can stamp it. This is another one of those sticker borders from Kane Company. Um, it came really long, 12 inches, and it had Merry Christmas several times. I just trimmed it off like that, and you're going to put it on the bottom just like that. And I kind of wanted a little bit of greenery at the top by the ribbon, so you're going to need some strong adhesive, maybe some of these thick glue dots or some of the tacky glue, but if you use the tacky glue you have to make sure that you are going to cover the top side because it will show through the acrylic. But you're going to tack that down behind the acrylic and then add a leaf on top to kind of hide the adhesive and add some berries too. I don't have any adhesive on it right now, but oops, you get the idea. And one more leaf maybe up here. And there you go. Okay, we're almost done with this project. We're just going to add some ribbon at the top. There are holes in this album because it is an album page, so we're using that as our hanging. We can use wire, we can use ribbon, whatever you like, but it just ties underneath, underneath there and it ends up like that. Thanks for watching Croft. My name is Laura McCullough and you can find out more about me at www.akissonthechic.com. Thanks.